Alpha catechylate is a very interesting molecule for longevity. There is a lot of research done with it showing that it can extend lifespan in multiple different kinds of organisms. In C. elegans, in Drosophila, which are fruit flies, it extends lifespan, but also in mice. And it also has been used for decades by athletes uh, to improve their metabolism and allegedly to improve their uh, stamina and endurance. So AKG, it's a naturally occurring substance in our bodies. So it's a fuel for our mitochondria. It's actually a part of the Krebs cycle. It serves as a Krebs cycle substrate. Krebs cycle is the cycle that creates energy in our mitochondria. So very important to stay alive and to have this conversation. So AKG is something that occurs naturally in our body, but unfortunately, when we get older, level of alpha catechylate rate decline. And we have seen if you give it to mice, they live longer and actually they also are much healthier. So the health effects are even more pronounced than the longevity or life extension effects. So for example, if you give old mice AKG or alpha catechylate, it uh, reduces hair grain, it reduces balding, especially in female mice. It improves the skin of the mice. It improves yeah, uh, endurance, cognition, and uh, metabolism in mice, and, and also extends lifespan somewhat. So AKG, definitely very interesting. It has many different effects. So it acts on many different hallmarks or mechanisms of aging. For example, it helps cells to maintain a proper epigenome. Uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, dysregulation of the epigenome is one of the reasons why we age. Remember the queen bees and, and canker genes switched on during aging. That's all due to the epigenome. So AKG or alpha catechylate is a substrate for epigenetic reprogramming enzymes uh, like uh, TET enzymes, uh, 10-11 translocase enzymes which uh, play a role in methylation. So these enzymes need AKG and vitamin C, by the way, to properly function and to maintain the epigenome. That's also one of the reasons why we added vitamin C to our uh, novos formulation because it works synergistically with alpha catechylate regarding epigenetic maintenance and health. AKG also has other effects. It improves mitochondrial uh, function, which is logical because it's a substrate or, or fuel for the mitochondria. It improves... Also, let's say collagen production, so it could also be beneficial for the skin. Also, there are studies showing it can help stem cells to maintain themselves better, which is very important because the older we get, our stem cells become dysfunctional or die off. So it's a very interesting substance, definitely. Yeah, I think that the cell is a highly engineered system to, and it uses metabolism to make all the reagents that it needs to function. Uh, that could be other proteins or, or replicating DNA. And so you need a lot of energy for a cell to work. AKG is a central metabolite uh, that's produced uh, during all of this energy production. And it's really at the interface between amino acid breakdown and carbohydrate metabolism. So it provides metabolic flexibility for the cell. Uh, it allows it to move reactions in different directions as needed. And when, when uh, molecules like that break down with age or go down with age, then it becomes much more difficult for the cell to adapt to its uh, environment. So I think it's really makes the cell more stress sensitive. I, I, AKG is also in about 700 different reactions in the cell. And so, you know, if the levels are going down, all of those enzymes may, are not functioning as well. Well, we think the main functional agent is the alpha ketoglutarate, but you have to deliver it some way. If you just take the acid form of AKG, we tried that and it, it caused a little bit of heartburn and an empty stomach. I don't think it's toxic. It's just annoying if you, if you take it in the morning. Um, so instead, we uh, and, uh, conjugated it to calcium so it could be uh, delivered better. Right?